Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to add or edit a custom sidebar in WordPress using Elementor plugin. So let's begin. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time in WordPress, just click on the create an account option in the upper right corner. And from here, you can continue with Google, you can continue with Apple, your GitHub account, or you can provide your business working email, and by following the on-screen instructions, you are all set. Now, adding or editing a custom sidebar in WordPress using the Elementor plugin can provide several advantages, enhancing the design and functionality of your website. Because from here, a custom sidebar allows you to display specific content related to different sections or pages of your website. Because with Elementor right here, you can design unique sidebars for different pages or post types, ensuring that the content is relevant and engaging for your audience. Now, the first step that we are going to do while we are here in Elementor is basically go here at the... Uh, now, just go here in the, uh, hover your mouse to the appearance and click on. Now, once we are here, just go to the pages and add new page because this is where we are going to add or edit a custom sidebar or WordPress using the Elementor page. Now, from here, just select the template that you are going to, cho uh, to choose. Maybe, um... How about this one? Side by side. Let's probably use um, this one for now. Click on it and publish. All right. And once you click on the unpublish option, just wait for it. Once it's successful, you need to click the edit with Elementor. All right. And from here, this is where the magic happens because we're going to edit and use a custom sidebar. So the first option is, okay, so on the left side panel of your dashboard, click on sidebar, right? There you go. Now, for easy access, just favorite the widgets you most often use by right-clicking add to favorites, right? And then all I got to do is drag and drop this sidebar, right? As you can see, this is where you edit and custom a sidebar, all right? So from here, you can have an option to customize, write it, all right? So you can have it in padded. You can put numerical values here on the uh, custom sidebar. You can have a different position and plus the good thing about it it's all highly customizable you can add custom css if you are a tech savvy you can put more attributes especially in terms of the background you can use um hover type but that's going to be for a different tutorial you can use the transform wherein you can rotate offset scale skew and you can flip horizontally and vertically now in the content right here We also need to add, do you see the plus button here? You need to add a container. Now you can drag a widget here. That's going to be for our sidebar. And you can add the container. All right. There you have it. Now once it's added, as you can see, you can add a custom information here. You can add an image around somewhere here. This is going to be our sidebar. And then again on our sidebar drag and drop it just around here this is going to be our sidebar all right as you can see we have an option to edit this one so these are all highly customizable we can change the edit uh let's choose another image click on it you can choose an image on the media library maybe let's use uh this free image right here so these are the uh, attachment click on it right so once we're here so 
once we have loaded that remember when adding a sidebar in elementor it provides extensive design capabilities allowing you to match the overall look and feel of your website now again as we have done earlier we use the drag and drop interface to add widgets adjust layout right here in the style when we uh, go to the width as you can see it changes right you can max out all the information here you can max the width the height right and also in terms of the box shadow if you wanted you can add more you can play around right because playing around with the styling options to your sidebar elements it, it ensures a visually appealing design right now once we've loaded that we can also go to the settings right here for the navigator once again make sure that your sidebar is on the right track you can put the image up here above the container or you can put the text editor right here and the sidebar up front all right so all of this gives you the flexibility with the navigation menus because it makes it easier for visitors to explore different sections or pages when you do all of this because it allows you to create custom menu widgets and style them according to your website's design aesthetic improving usability and user satisfaction but i'm happy with our sidebar here now once you've done that as you can see it provides valuable space for promoting products services or special offers with elementor you can add promotional banners like something like call to action right or opt in forms to your sidebars helping to drive conversions and generate leads and the good thing about elementor it supports integration with various third-party widgets and plugins allowing you to extend the functionality of your custom sidebars whether you want to add a social media feed around here or a contact form or any related post widgets elementor makes it easy to incorporate additional features to your sidebar down here right so click on it you can add a, you can use an add a template there's a lot of that you can do because you can also check the uh, responsiveness of this one if you click on save because providing a seamless user experience across different devices and screen sizes now i believe that's a wrap for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you in the next one